Welcome back. We like to call this our State Street Studio. That's right. And since we're in downtown Madison, we thought it would be a great opportunity to check in with city leaders to talk a little bit about the state of State Street and the downtown area. And we're thrilled today to have Madison Mayor Paul Soglin with us and Madison Police Chief Mike Koval. Nice we, to see we should both address of you. The hat first, yeah, it's right on Dr. Oh, Seuss Day. I memory. I, Karen was gracious enough on her birthday, no less, to let me seize upon the Dr. Seuss theme. So thank you, Karen. <laughs> it's a good look. So, thank Paul, you. what is the state of State Street? Well, it's getting better. Uh, clearly, we're having a very robust period of construction. Uh, a lot of new residential units being constructed, which has been an objective of the city for over 40 years. Uh, how do you take this downtown space? and take it from a place which is mostly young and very old people who aren't very wealthy and get a greater economic mix. At the same time, we're having some challenges because of our success. <laughs> but you're a, a victim of your own success. We got problems. We don't have the width in the street now to accommodate the pedestrians, all the folks who are uh, opening up their cafes on the sidewalks, the need for parking for bicycles, for just chairs for, for people who've been a little exhausted by the walk. It's, it's creating some problems and we got some tight points uh, down around State and Francis late at fr on Friday and Saturday nights right. is of some concern to the police department. Chief, does this de new density concern you at all? It does, because obviously we love the charm and the sort of eclectic vibe that State Street gives. And so from that standpoint, what, to the mayor's point is we have to watch or articulate what the growth or what the expansion is going to look like. Um, do you want this to be nothing more than a bourbon street with bars and, and restaurants, or do you want to continue to have that retail flavor that a lot of people appreciate? You've been holding listening sessions yeah. all over the community. Uh, and what kinds of things are you hearing from folks in the downtown area? In the downtown area, it's all about sort of the quality of life issues and looking at noise abatement and alcohol issues have always been chronically a part of that of landscape. What has been refreshing this year is that I think there's been a decided shift away from as many components complaints about the homeless and I hope that it's in some measure because there's been much, much more intervention by street teams and I think that there's a bigger impetus to try to move people into permanent housing. Is that part of the United Way task force that you're doing that uh, and their recommendations that just came out recently or is this just something you're doing to be in touch? No, this is just something I do to be in touch. I do this throughout the year going to all the districts and because I'd like them to feel like they have an unfiltered access and talk to us about what are those quality of life issues. They could be anything. Paul, with all these young professionals now moving downtown, they want bars and restaurants. And you're not a fan of more bars on State I'm, Street. I'm not. First, on just the liquor consumption itself, it's becoming and has been a, a major problem. But the other part of it is if we look over the last half dozen years, we've lost a significant amount of State Street retail, whether it's clothing stores, uh, gift shops, uh, household uh, goods, whatever. Uh, we've seen like a 25% reduction in their portion of, of the street, and it's being replaced by, by bars and food. And then some of the food, without naming any specific stores, is not really adding to Madison as a great food place. So what I'm looking at to work with the city council, and I hope that people of the city would agree, we have got to make sure this does not become all food and liquor, that we do retain a retail presence, which is so important for the rest of the city. Otherwise, why did we make this major investment in the State Street Mall over the That's years? That's right. retail brings people in from outlying areas. And when we talked to Stephen Fleischman, he said that the demographics downtown are definitely changing in the 25-year tenure that he, he's had as the director of MOCA. Do you feel the same way, Mayor? I think that the demographic change is marvelous. That's been an objective. But we're getting to a point where, very frankly, um, I would rather not see uh, an out-of-state owned mega saloon come to State Street, and I'd much rather see uh, a gift shop, a household goods store, a clothing store, uh, something that complements, let's just think about a Saturday afternoon during the summer, People have been on the farmer's market for a couple of hours, and then with their kids, they take a walk down State Street and do some window shopping. That says it all. Mike, is downtown safe? 
Oh, absolutely. I think that the fact of the matter is, is that uh, we have our issues that are typically associated with alcohol and bar time, but for the most part, it's still a great opportunity for families of all ages to come and enjoy. Well, we've had our challenges, though, mm -hmm. recently with racial issues yeah. and tensions. Um, do you feel like we're making progress in that area? Well, I'd like to believe that we are because we're still having the dialogue. It's, uh, it's of course, ever-evolving, isn't it? And the sense of the matter is, is that as we become more familiar with one another and looking at the issues from both sides' perspectives, I think infinitely we're making progress. And I think that's hopeful. It's a pretty exciting time. It is. I mean, when you go back and go back to the 60s when State Street was really dying, the shopping malls were being built on the periphery, retail was gone, and we set out to, with this premise. We want a strong city. To have a strong city, you have to have a strong downtown. To have a strong downtown, you have to have strong retail, and you want a city that does not fold up the sidewalks and go to bed at 6 p.m. We don't want to end up like, like sections of Washington, D.C. or other state capitals. We've achieved that. Now we got to figure out uh, how to, like I said earlier, deal with that success. And it's quite a city when you can have the police chief on television wearing <laughs> that hat. Some will say it's a self-fulfilling prophecy for this clown, so that's okay. It works to my favor. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us yeah, today. Yeah, great to see both really of you. Thank you for making it. Thanks for having us. Happy birthday, Karen. <laughs>